How's it going everyone? This is Sean here from the Scale Model Car Guide channel and uh, today's video I think is going to be an unboxing of a Johan kit but before we get this party kicked off get it started I want to thank all my subscribers all my old subscribers all my new subscribers uh, all the ones that's been with me from the beginning, you know, all your new ones. I've been getting a lot here lately, a lot more. Appreciate you guys for coming on. Um, I really do. I really appreciate it. Uh, always leave a like. Leave a comment if you want. Uh, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes your world go around, guys. I really don't care. Y'all leave what you want to leave. Uh, tell me what's up, you know. I always leave my... Uh, description in the, my email my gmail in the description anybody ever needs to get a hold of me or send me anything or whatever you want to do and uh so before we get this video going i'm going to uh let's see let's let's go ahead because i haven't made a video in a few days i'm going to do this unboxing and i'll do just a little update on the shop truck because uh i really hadn't done nothing but scratch and build a roof rack for it i haven't got a whole lot done to it of course you know we got a long time to do this and you know that's robert uh from a uh, deep junk garage that's his group build shop truck group build and, he, and that'll be in the description below and uh <coughs> which i'm fixing to have to put that one up for a little bit guys because uh, me and justin from j Hart models are fixing to start our uh buddy build come may 1st yeah may 1st we're gonna start our buddy build so uh so I'll be putting it aside, but after we get our buddy build done, I'll get right back on it. But I'll show y'all, I'll turn around and show you update on it. It ain't much. Like I said, I'll show you that roof rack I've done. But uh, this is going to be the kit right here that we are going to defile, molest, whatever you want to call it. We're going to, look at this thing. It's been sealed so long that the uh, the box is starting to cave in and, and I can hear it hollering. Sean, Sean. Sean, open me, please. Open me. And uh, so, you know, I, I got to, you know. Look at that thing. Look. Oh, look at the cellophane still on that. Look at that. Look, never, ever been touched, guys. Sean, 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 open me. I will. Okay, I will. All right. I already got one over there open, but this one's saying open me. Yeah, okay. Y'all try to guess what color that thing is, too. There's no telling. The one I got opened up there, it's never been built, but I got it opened up there. And uh, it's molded in like a tan color. Y'all just take a wild guess, see what this one's going to be molded in. Everybody likes to play the what color is a Johan model. So we're going to do that here in just a second. And I want to give a shout out to old Doug. Doug Hensley at Hensley Hobbies right here. <clears throat> Doug, I got my Sasquatch shirt on for you, buddy. My home Squatch Skinner skillet, buddy. Uh, and and Doug, you ain't sent me a new shop card yet. Everybody else is getting them. I ain't got mine yet. So, uh, buddy, you better send me a new shop card. And uh, with that being said, guys, I'll leave his description below. Y'all get over there. If you're subscribed to me, please get over there and subscribe to him. He He's a good old boy from Kentucky. And he just builds whatever. He's a model builder. Uh, he looks for Sasquatch, and uh, he likes to fish, but he's a model builder, guys. If you like my channel, go over there, subscribe to him. Please help him get over the 1,000. He's been doing this for years, and I think he's at 500 and something. See if y'all can't give him a few more uh, bump-ups. Get him up there. This guy's been doing it for a long time, and uh, he's funny, too. Y'all listen to him ramble. It's funny, but uh, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to show you what's going on here. And then we're going to unbox that or molest it or whatever y'all want to call. We're going to do it to it, that Johan kit. That's what we're going to do. So let's turn around and look at the shop truck update. All right, guys. Before we get started on that uh, unboxing, I guess what we'll do is we'll look at my messy, messy, messy ass desk. Guys. This is why I only do one model at a time, because I do not have room for nothing else. Look at that. I've got crap laid out here on it. Just I was just mocking that up just to see us put different wheels on it. You know, it comes with it comes with those wheels right there, and I wasn't feeling those wheels, so I was just playing around with it and decided to mock it up and put those wheels on it. 
and that ain't even what we're talking about. Uh, just old parts over here, old Willie's parts. Love them old gassers. But all right, guys, this is what I scratch built. I scratch built. Still needs to be painted, of course, but I scratch built a roof rack. Putting the wood slats in the top of it. Any of you uh, BW guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I bit that from, let me get, so that y'all know what I did here. I used this uh, Evergreen 1 6 rod and bent every bit of that. And then the, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. And then the wood pieces right there that I put in there actually come from the Hasegawa Volkswagen uh, pickup that uh, I cut a couple of them up and that's leftover parts and that was the bed parts that go in the bed and I thought man that'd be perfect instead of trying to cut down some uh, styrene strips that'd be, that was already cut I just had to cut them down to size and that's what I used on it but but uh, that's all I've gotten done on that like I said that one's fixed to be put aside but I will get back on it after me and Justin get on our buddy build I'm going to shut up Turn around and let's do some unboxing of a vintage Johan kit. Here we go, guys. As y'all can see, oh, here it goes. Matt, Mark, Matthew, uh, Matthew from Model Car Videos, you're going to have a heart attack here, buddy. You're fixing to have a heart attack. But, in my defense, I got another one. Here we go. Let's cut it from here. Cut it from here. Get my big old hands out of the way. Cut it from here. All right, guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, we're gonna let that vintage air out of here. Oh, all right. Y'all guess what color it was? Let's see. Holy crap, it's green. Daggum. All right, let's set it aside real quick. Let's look at this box. All right. Right there, mini plated parts. That is the red version, stock version. Here's the side. And here's all your custom parts right here. You got a roll bar. You got custom wheels, racing, or yeah, racing wheels, mag wheels, chrome skirts, exhaust pipes, record player, gosh dang, spotlight, side mirrors, seat belts. Well, you got all kinds of neat stuff. Let's set that aside over there. Let's look at these instructions right here. 1963 Plymouth Fury Hardtop. Johan instructions, super simple. Step one, front and rear axle blocks. There you go. Step two, build your engine. 1A, we forgot 1A. Put your torsion bars in. Sorry, guys. Step three is build your interior, however you want to do it there. Step four, just put your glass and interior tub in. Step five is to marry all that stuff together. That's your chassis, your interior, your body, your oh, your grill and your your hood. <coughs> Let's see. There is custom car assembly. You got all kinds of custom crap you could have put on it back in the day. Look at that fin going down the middle. Boy, they had some wild stuff going on. Look at them scavenger flare pipes. Boy, that's crazy. Let's see. What are we going to open up first? Let's save the body for last. Let's see. Here's the interior tub. Seats are molded in. You got lots of flash. You got injection pin marks. Typical Johan right there. 
Let's see, what else we got going? This is the first tree. You got a continental kit. There's your spare wheel continental kit stuff. There's your open wheel, pipes. I guess that'd be your custom valance, record player. You got a TV right there. Look at that little TV. Roll bar. You got some kind of louvers and a fin. And guys, this is some crazy stuff right here they did. Look at that. That's that one. And then here is your hood. You can see Plymouth on there, nicely molded in. You got your engine. You got your your valve cover, or not valve covers, your heads and your uh, intake molded together. You got your torsion bars. You got your wheel backs. You got your steering wheel. You got your water bag. You got your radiator. Your belts and pulley. There's the other side of it. Let y'all see all the parts there. There's your engine block transmission. And uh, looks like your uh, manifolds, exhaust manifolds. There's your engine. Let's look in here. We got firewall, nicely detailed firewall, lots of flash. And those uh, two uh, pieces right here will be your your uh, uh, wheel rods I guess is what you want to call them got lots of loose parts in here there's your nicely detailed dash all the engraving all the markings everything looks good there let me open this thing up here before we get to the chrome you got a loose battery look how bright that chrome is for all them years being in there you got your mag wheels, you got your stock wheels, I don't know if you can see those very good, and lots of flash in there. That's your stock wheels. There's your 1963 Fury back bumper and tail light assembly. There is your grill and headlights. Valve covers. Uh, you got a bunch of little custom parts stuff. I don't know what all that is unless to look at it. There's one of the, the other one must be in the box. Uh, fender flares. Who would put those on there? Oh my God. All kinds of custom goodies on that. Man, let's just dump this thing out right here. Some of the tail light pieces are falling off. You got tail light pieces. Right there, you got your air breather in chrome. You got part of your continental kit. The other fender flare. You got a mirror. And then you got four of these bad boys. Look at the flash even in the tire. Look at that. Johan kits were actually kind of terrible as far as quality but the bodies were the best as far as detail uh let me open this thing up yeah here is your windshield back glass assembly Let's look at this chassis here's this side of the chassis very simple chassis don't you just love that green damn that's some wild colors right there, guys. <coughs> and there's that beautiful body. Plymouth Fury. Look at there. Got all the moldings on it. They're all really nice and crisp. There's your front. I love the color that it's molded in. Green's my favorite color, guys. That's a funky shade of green, though. That's almost like that uh, John Deere tractor green let me get this focus there you go fury there's that end of it there's that end of it yes I'm dropping everything guys beautiful kit 
All right, guys. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. Get on over there and subscribe to old Doug Hensley, my home squad Skinner skillet. Uh, check out our uh, oh uh, <clears throat> Robert from Deep Junk Garage. Check out his uh, videos, everybody's videos for the shop truck group build. Uh, check that out. All right, guys. Bye.